Hi, Corey with Gold Rush Expeditions here. We're out today at the Willow Creek Mine. This is uh, high Colorado. We're about 10,000-ish feet. And what you're looking at here is kind of a mystery. The Willow Creek, from what we can tell, appears to be quartz, feldspar. The history of it is that there were some minerals removed, but it's very vague as to how much gold, how much silver. What we see in looking around it is not a whole lot of gold or silver evidence of anything. We see a lot of evidence of mica and just a whole lot of quartz. Well, quartz does run with gold, but usually you need a good amount of iron. What I'm finding interesting is what you see right here. So quartz slash feldspar mines are usually all surface. They're all pit, they're all working from the top, especially mica because they're looking for big sheets. You don't cut a tunnel for a quartz or a feldspar mine. What you have here is kind of the benefit of your tax dollars again. Um, the state of Colorado has made sure that you're not going to explore for minerals here, but actually they can't stop you. The right person that buys this from Gold Rush, my suggestion would be file your notice of operation, come out here with some dex pan, punch a couple holes with a hammer drill in here, and uh, fill it with your dex pan, let that come out, and kind of solve the mystery of what's behind here. I, the documentation is not very extensive, but there is lots of mention of tunnels and drifts. This may be the only opening that is left to get into this. What you're basically tunneling into here, from what you can see, is just straight up quartz. So the minerals that you're going to intercept underground are, yeah, they're, who knows? One thing that you might also find, just uh, in being observant when you're at your mine site, back here, you can see there's some seepage back here. What that kind of tells me is this is probably a pretty good seal and it started to break down over the years. Quartz usually has some good fractures in it, makes it kind of porous, so water and rain from up above is probably going to come down into the tunnels. Now where these naturally drained and the miners had them naturally draining back in the past, they're not going to drain when you seal something up like this, so what you probably have behind this is a whole lot of water. So my suggestion would be when you open it up make sure you're a little ways away just in case you start to open a little hole and a little water starts to come out and then it comes out and gets you that would suck so just a little bit of input there on this entrance this is the willow creek um, colorado let's go out and take a look at some of the other things that are out here around this mine site it's a really large mine site as you would expect from gold rush expeditions so uh let's show it to you so we're outside of the willow creek here now this is kind of a large, I'd almost call it a pit area, but it's just the result of it being worked over so many years. What you've got here is probably a remnant of your 50s, 60s, maybe 70s mining. Little bucket here, it's still got a little bit of yellow paint on this side. This is the type of tool that was probably used to break down a lot of this. And whether they were looking for mica at that point, what they were actually searching for, they may have been prospecting it to find those, you know, iron veins. I'm betting that when it was being used, that adit was probably open. There also may have been another adit over here. It looks like there's a possibility. But uh, I think their main value that was intriguing everybody here was all this quartz. I mean, we've got quartz, 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 just like there's no tomorrow. And quartz is usually some sort of indicator of minerals. You know, quartz will follow gold, silver, copper, all of your four metals. When you see really nice, what they call it is a, is a milky quartz. So sometimes you'll see clear. Clear doesn't indicate very much in the way of minerals. Um, this milky-ish is usually better for your heavy metals. An interesting loss. The uh, big value of this site, and it is a big site. There's a lot that goes down the road behind me. There's a lot that goes up here. There's some digs up behind me that you can see here. And you can also see, I don't know whether you can catch it with that lens, there's a lot of really, really old trees up here, which also tells me that the mine was being worked a long, long time ago because these trees have still continued to grow and not been affected by any of the mining operations. So, very interesting site, very cool for Gold Rush Expeditions. I'm Corey Schumann, and we'll see you at the next site. This claim is available for purchase. And if you would like more pictures, more video, visit our website, www.goldrushexpeditions.com, or give us a call, 303-458-1500.